What's going on YouTube? How you guys doing today? This is Jason and Lavish Car Reviews back with another video for you. And today we're checking out this beautiful 392 Hemi Charger Scat Pack. 2018. Over here at Green Ford. My guys at Green Ford. These are the same people I bought my Mustang. My 2019 Mustang GT Premium from. So we're going to check out this car. God, man, this thing's nice. With this beautiful forest green. This is a nice car. They have this up here at Green Ford. This is an excellent car. I mean, it is gorgeous. Look at that color. We're just going to do a full review on this car. Show you guys what's going on under the hood with that big 6.4 liter Hemi. And we'll be right back. So check it out, guys. Starting right from the front, you got this beautiful forest green colored scat pack. She does have fog lights in the front. There it is, scat pack right there. Love the headlights. Love the headlights on this car. Car looks good. Got a hood scoop right there. It looks like it's fully functional. Yep, it has the... Yeah, is it functional? Yeah, it's functional. All right, guys, check out the wheels right here. 275 40ZR20s. Sporting that on the black matte finish wheels with the Brembo calipers. It does have the uh, slots in the rotors. I don't know what this is for right here. Um, I guess that's just what the rotor sits on. It looks kind of dangerous to me. Brembo's on the back as well. Brembo's all the way around. All right, coming around the back. There it is right there. Dodge RT Charger. You already know what it is. Scat Pack, 2018 Scat Pack. Got big exhaust. Big exhaust. Let's see if they did the Fugaga down there. No, they didn't. They gave it to you. They gave you the full exhaust down there. It don't got the little pipe coming into the, the big pipe. Same deal on this side, guys. You know what it is. 392 Hemi. Let me give y'all a wide shot of that. Look at that car, man. That is a nice car right there. Clean car. Hellcat. It's probably the only car I love is the Hellcat. I'm not a Mopar guy, but it's something about that damn Hellcat. That just drives me to it. Just looks so aggressive. Is that big motor, that freaking supercharger wine? I love that shit, man. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you a start up on this scat pack. Let you hear that exhaust. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. If you own one of these cars, you probably already know what it sounds like. But if you're in the market for one, here we go. Woo! Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, guys, let's jump inside this 2018 Forest Green Scat Pack. You got it right there, Beats Audio. So you got superb sound in here. You got Beats Audio. Oh, wow, look at that right there. I guess that's how you open the fuel door right there so you can fuel the car. That's that's kind of different. It's in, I've never seen it in that spot before. Basic controls for your windows, opening door. You got your uh, settings right here to memorize You know what seat position you have. Let's get in and close that door because it's a little hot down here today. So, here we go. Sorry about the focus. 180 on the dash. You got your little digital area right here where you can see all your information coming over. It's typical uh, Mopar infotainment system right there. Uh, super track pack. I don't know what that button does, but we're going to try it out. Motorized uh, steering wheel up and down. That's pretty cool. I need that in my life. But yeah, as far as leg room, I mean, I'm 5'7". This, thing, this thing's like nothing. My feet are just hanging off the floor. Like, I actually need to move my seat down a little bit. So, you got plenty of room in here. I mean, and it also has a back seat. So, it's, it's pretty much like the size of a sedan. You got your sunroof. Sunroof right there. Scat Pack logo right there. Uh, it's pretty much, I think that's like Alcaterra. And you got some leather down here. Um automatic transmission i believe it's an eight speed correct me in the comments below if i'm wrong start stop button right there engine turn the engine on there's your logo right there charger so down here on the steering wheel you got looks like cruise control adaptive kind of cruise control system going on here uh because i guess you can like judge how far you want to be from cars and stuff like that and when you're behind them with the cruise control on got navigation buttons here it does not have the lit up dodge srt thing in the middle because it's not a hellcat red eye yeah let's go to the back seat right there so the back seat is pretty cool you got you can fit some uh decent sized people in there uh looks like it's got pretty good headroom up there uh for somebody sitting in the back so yeah and then down here you got your little storage compartment right there two usbs to another 12 volt down there that's pretty decent all right guys without further ado let's go pop the hood on this 2018 scat pack charger we'll be right back stay tuned all right guys so we got the hood up on this 2018 charger scat pack checking out the motor right there 
powered by SRT, so it is powered by SRT. This is a 6.4 liter V8. I mean, it's not much to tell about this motor. It's a big motor, man. You got your intake right there. Looks like you got your reservoir for your coolant. It's pumping out a lot of juice, though. I mean, these cars are not definitely not made to uh, get gas mileage, I'll tell you that. They're, they're made to run, so if you're going to run, you're going to be running to the gas station a lot. Definitely going to go to the gas station a lot with these. So, Oh, pretty cool right here. That's something that Ford needs to do. This car has hood struts already on it when you buy it so that is pretty cool all right guys so we're gonna take a ride in this scat pack show you guys what it feels like and we'll be right back all right guys so we're back inside this 2018 dodge charger scat pack 392 about to take it for a quick spin i'm not gonna go too far because i want to bring the car back i've had it for a while but i'm gonna take a quick spin see how it feels see what kind of power it makes and uh so here we go hold on guys Got some torque. I mean, wow, 6.4 liter Hemi. Yeah, so I'm impressed. A little bit on the heavy side, it feels a little heavier than my Mustang does, but not a bad ride though. This guy's back here is looking at me, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit it one time. Are you ready? Here we go. quick man I'm not gonna lie damn man but it's still nice it's, st it's still a nice car and, and if you like you know Mopars shit I'd go get one of these dude I've had this car for a while now so I'm gonna bring it back over there and say don't get worried and stuff like that even though they're cool with me I just don't you know want to give them that impression that I just come and take the cars and just go places and bring them back when I feel like it so we're gonna do one more quick pull and then we'll bring the car back. All right, here we go, guys. So check it out. Make sure ain't nobody around. Woo! I mean, she she goes, man. God damn, she goes. She definitely goes. Last pull. Here we go. I can't lie. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. If this if this feels like this, then I can imagine the Hellcat feels like. We're gonna try to get a Hellcat on the channel, do a review on it, and um, you know, check it out because I've never drove one before. Uh, actually, this is my first time ever. No, I drove the Scat Pack before. I drove Scat Pack at the uh, the Raleigh Car Show earlier this year. I went out there with my buddy Anthony. They felt pretty good. Those were 2019s. Yeah, they were 2019s. I think they were just releasing. But um, yeah, so it's definitely a nice car. I mean, this one's used. Um, it's at Green Ford. If you're in the North Carolina area, come down to Green Ford, get you a Dodge Charger for a good price. I just want to show you here at Green Ford what else they got on the showroom floor. You probably can see it behind me. 2019 Shelby GT350. Shelby GT350 2019 in that Ford Performance Blue with the white stripe. Good God. That is a man's car. That's a man's car. Beautiful car. Check out the price. 66. And there's your markup right there. GT350. Mm, mm, mm. Now this car right here does have Brembo's, of course. It's a GT350 nevertheless, you know, so... Like I said, I did a review on the GT350R a few days ago. So here's the GT350 and that Ford Performance Blue with the white stripe. Lovely car. Yeah, also guys, look what they got in here, man. This is the Shelby GT Heritage. GT Heritage Supercharged. Wow. Look at those wheels right there, those gold wheels. Check out the interior. Look at that le leather interior. Shelby logos on the seats. Does have the digital cluster. Look at that gauge cluster up there. It's drop top. This thing is sick. Look at that. Let's go around the back. Shelby. Got the Shelby Cobra right there. Beautiful car. Look at those wheels. I gotta show you those wheels again. Look at them wheels right there, boy. What? But I'm 
I'm a little upset. If you check out back there, no Brembo's. Don't know why they did that, but it is what it is. Powered by Ford, Shelby GT Heritage. Let's check out the, let's check out the price. Let's see how much this thing costs. Good God, $106,000. That's what's on the trim right there. $106,000 right there. This is what you get for $106,000. Holy shit. But nevertheless, beautiful car. You got another Shelby GT Heritage right back there. That one right there is a hard top. So if you're in the market for Shelby GT Heritage, come down to Green 4, you pick one up. If you guys got that bag for it. All right, guys, that's the end of this video today. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe, comment, share, hit that notification bell right down below for future videos and more exclusive cars. Thanks for hanging out, guys. This is Jason, and this is Lavish Car Reviews. See you next time.